Only 22% of software developers say they have a clear understanding of what they need to do to comply with security policy, to make sure the applications they're writing for their organization are good in a security sense. Now, it'd be easy to say the developers are just dopes and they don't know what they're up to, but I think what this is indicating is that figuring out how to practically do security policy at the software layer is difficult. And that's where this concept of shift left comes from. Now, I think the idea of shift left early on in the DevOps days, even in in the extreme programming agile world we are bringing unit testing and then also automation and configuration closer to the developers. You're bringing it left in the application lifecycle. That kind of literally makes sense. But nowadays, when you start hearing about shift left for security, that doesn't mean have the developers do even more things. If only 22% of them even know what they should be doing, you should probably not ask them to do security things. What shift left means in a security and compliance context nowadays is moving your security and compliance concerns closer to that part of the application lifecycle where the coding is actually done. What this often can mean is automating a lot of the checks, also enforcing a lot of the compliance and the policy you have, using things like default templates and setups for your developers, and taking full advantage of how cloud native architectures let you split up and divide things. There's another thing that Richard Sirota mentioned recently, which is the idea of shifting down, which is to say if you have the opportunity to just build something like security and compliance into the platform to just remove it from anyone's concern, you should definitely focus on that. You can think about at a very basic layer, things like file services, networking, even the way that UIs are rendered on screens have been shifted away from people caring about that. So if you're thinking about shifting security left, which people sometimes talk about as DevSecOps or even secure software supply chains, don't assume that means having your developers do a lot of work because only about 22% of them really know what that means. Instead, think about how you can go back into the application life cycle and add security at that point with the new types of technologies and architectures that are available.